found the truck camera. So let's go take a look at these. Okay, guys, we're gonna look at the $58,000 1062 model 2018 with the slide on this side. And I don't even think that's extended all the way back. Oh, and yeah, this is another, it's got two slides. This is huge. You need a big truck to pull this. Look at this. Wow, look at all that storage. That's storage and that's storage. That's pretty cool. Storage there. Wow, it's so spacious in here. I can't get over this as a truck camper. It's huge because it's got two slide outs. Look at this. If you're going to be investing in a rig with slide outs, that's going to require a big truck. So for something like this, you're probably looking at a 3500 to a 4500. interesting I've never seen this step like this I guess it's because it's so wide so it has to slide in this way and this this here slides in this way so I don't know what this would look like with the slides in but that's very spacious I'm not I'm not liking this here though this it doesn't seem very stable to me the step up um, but there is good storage there and there's a closet here I love this. This is nice. This closes like that for the top right. TV. Three burners. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. It's a nice cabinet. That's the 1062, which is the one with the two slides. That's the information for that. 75 is that one. One slide out, not like the other one. The other one had two slide outs. Okay. It's still very spacious with the slides. kitchen here see it it's right by the door so when you come in your kitchen area is in this area which I really love this a lot this is really really nice I love that about this and the dinette is a long dinette it's very long I mean, you can comfortably fit three people here where mine you can only fit two so here is the TV area Refrigerator. Here's your step again. This bed seems lower than mine.
one slide. And look at this. This is huge. This slides in and out, which I love this. This deck is awesome. Did you see this deck, Louis? Huh? Look how it slides out the deck and gives you so much space. Yeah. I love that. And you have storage too. Yeah, and storage. This bathroom is nice. Of all the bathrooms, I think this is the nicest one. So I'm gonna let the light on. Well, I'm not really liking it. I don't know how good these plastic things are. This one out. This one is the 825 for 33000 all right, let's check this one out. Look at this. You don't have the dock here, like the other one. It's still nice. I like the ladder goes all the way down. Look, this is nice. Cause mine, I have to climb up. A little bathroom, but it's so different when you go to the big ones and then you come in here. So it feels so this area here feels very cramped. Oh, because of the door. That's why it feels cramped. Because that door. They have to be light. Well, yeah, there has to be light. I mean you don't really need a heavy door for for it a bathroom. To be, it has but, to be a light. Yeah. You know. I wish it was brighter brighter in here. Well actually I like it. Um, I like it the way it is. It saves on space. Yeah, it does. It locks. It isn't cheaply made, but it's I like these that don't have the cabinets because I can put my own storage here and I can have a small, I could put a smaller bed if I wanted to in something like this. Here, so you can move the TV out of the way. Out. No, this That's has, this, this has no slide out. This is one of the smaller ones. That looks big though. Yeah, it does look big up on the top, doesn't it? Oh, the refrigerator, it's the opposite of yours. Size. I love this. This, I, I wish mine had this. It's got a big counter. I don't need that many, and I don't need the oven. But how's the uh, how's the seating compared to yours? Is it bigger? Uh, it's about the same. But it the feels cab, like the, it's the lower. The sleeping area looks bigger. Yeah, the sleeping area is definitely bigger, and I it's like so spacious to get up there in and out. You know, very spacious. The seating is comfortable. Maybe if you move bigger. this out of the way, it's just a different setup. Uh, I borrowed his job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. Uh, I don't know. After you see the other ones. Here's the bed. One window only. Yeah, that's a bummer. I don't like that. I don't be able to see both sides if something happens. But I mean, to each his own. That's 32. Oh, you know. 
That's the cheapest one I think that I've seen so far, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. This one is forty-six five five three. This one is eight sixty-five. Hmm. It's missing the step here. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't want somebody up to do it. Oh, storage here, no generator. All right, this has the same setup as my kitchen area right here. I'm not sure if with the smaller ones why they're doing on the model like this, they're doing the three burners. I, I think they should have gone with the two on this one. Um, that's a good deep sink. This I do like, it's nice and deep. It's just storage here. I like these tables are very light so that you can remove them easily. Mine is very heavy and I want to do something about that. storage compartment here. Now don't get me wrong, they're only for small children. Yeah. And there's that that netting that goes up. Right. Because obviously you're gonna have a smaller child down there to prevent them from rolling off. And is this this drop down? It does. Yes. That drops down for another sleeping area, and then you have your bed area up in the up in the front there. Yeah. Sliding door, which I love the sliding doors. This is really nice. It's out of the way. Okay, so then these are the different options for the fabric. You can choose the different color fabrics that you want. Okay, here's your passage models. You can do the roadster. And you can also do your wood grain, your countertops, and your flooring in these options. And then you also have the laminated floor options here that you can choose from. So this is a very good um, 
place to get all the information and you can choose wisely because I love that they've done this display for you so you can see the different options you can put together things and you can take this and put it over there and see what you want with that that's nice so to recap there were a lot of favorites that I saw this year in the Lance models and these were some of the highlights that I saw in some of their rigs stainless steel two burner tops solid color leather dinettes with ruching stainless steel folding burner cover fan fold vent covers in wall recess cabinets both in the bathroom and in the kitchen for your spices pull out docking steps with storage counter recess trash bins dinette storage bins hanging wardrobe with top storage distressed laminate wood floors vinyl valances an additional step up to the bed easy access to the generator lighter weight tables the recessed look lighting the sliding bathroom doors counter recess sinks child safety guard for the optional bunk but my favorite of all time was that kitchen in the back i think that they should continue to do more models like that because that window in the back just makes it feel so bright and so nice when you're working in the kitchen now for the one thing that i still don't like in all the campers and all the RVs that I saw at the show was the carpet that they use under the dinette. They still continue to put carpeting under a dinette where people eat. And I think that they should do away with that and find some other product that's more hygienic for under a dinette. Guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share it, and please subscribe. Follow us on social media.